Oh, look at him. He's just scoped in with the bolt action. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to build platforms all around me right here. And we're going to go on with the impulse grenade. That's the only acceptable move. All right, here we go, boys. Wish me luck. Hey, brother, what's going on in this place? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't think I am ever, ever going to get sick of pulling that one off. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to the channel. Now, today, we've got a very, very exciting concept to explore because, as most of you would be aware, a couple of weeks ago now, the Fortnite developers removed double pump shotgunning from the game. Actually, it's only been a week, but it just feels like so much longer. And since then, there's really been no clear way to dominate all your close range fights. But close range fights are probably one of the most important parts of winning rounds of Fortnite. So for the past few weeks, I've been experimenting. I've been trying out different gun combinations, different loadouts, different tactics, different ways to try and win all of those close range fights. And today, we are going to be jumping in and we're going to be trying out the one that that I have settled on as the one that I find as most effective for me. And we run into a few other people who are trying out some little different variations of it. And well, we're going to see which one of those comes out on top. But without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, we got a lot of people coming down. This is going to be a filthy drop. Let's go. Okay, nothing on the yard that I really want to get. There are a couple of mini shields there. But the only thing more important than mini shields at this stage of the game is actually having a gun. And it looks like the guy who landed over here is not going to have that. Although I can't see where he ran to. No! Is he downstairs yet? They're still upstairs. Oh, Jesus. Get out of my house. There's another guy on the roof, I'm pretty sure. I don't know whether or not we should go up there. And thank God, if we died to a scoped AR to start the game off, you're never going to live that down. I think he's just downstairs. Right there, right there, right there. All right, we're going to jump out the back, then we're going to kill him. I just don't want to try and do it on 50 health. That's a recipe for death. All right, where'd that guy go? Where is he? And all right, he's dead. I really, really, really would love it if we could find some mini shields or something like that right about now. I'm going to drink that up. we got another enemy over there who you guys just saw. We get oh, should we jump up here? All right, here we go. Hit him really hard. He's right here. And he's dead. All right. Thank you for the mini, sir. That is like mini delivery. You ask for it, you receive it. And he had the other shotgun we need as well. That's perfect. Okay. Our loadout's looking pretty good right now, guys. We're going to drink one more mini shield. Get us up to that perfect... Well, not perfect, but pretty good 50 shields, 100 health. Let's grab what's in here, which will be... Oh my god, now we're going to have that perfect health. Okay, let's move out. We're going to get a pump action there, tactical shotgun right there, and I'm also going to grab the burst rifle, because A, we got a spare inventory slot, but B, I've actually been doing a lot of work with this gun recently. We can't see the next enemy yet, but they've got to be around here. There's definitely going to be someone left on that side of town, and I'm betting we're going to have one or two people still on the low ground here. And they're the ones who we're going to make a beeline for. This new double shotgun strat has actually been working so well for me recently. You come in, you get the massive first hit. Oh, and there we go. Heard an enemy over there. You come in and get the massive first hit with the, uh, with the pump action. And then you just get that big old finish and do whatever extra damage you need using the tactical. And okay, there is definitely people here. Sounds like one of them already died, unfortunately. But where is he? Come on, and... Come on. There we go. Okay, that guy's dead. Unfortunately, a bit of a messy kill, but... We got mini shields. We're gonna get right back to that 150. And then, the murder spree is gonna continue. I don't know if there was any other loot over there for us to grab. But we'll definitely have a little bit of a search for it. A couple more seconds. We're gonna be back at perfect health. And the killing spree continues. Alright, let's go. There should almost definitely be one more person at least in this town. And I am going to find them. And then we're going to kill them. They should be up on the high ground. Most likely. Probably. Then again, you know what? People who play this game. Oh my god. Yep, right there. Right there. Shield up. He's in the house. He's in the house. He's at that corner. Right there. Right there. 
Oh, no, 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 no. I had HP. We gotta go. We gotta go. He's right behind me. He's right behind me. Go up, go up, go up. Build a wall. Okay. We need, pick, we need cover. We need cover. I don't have any resources left. Oh, my God. He's down here. Come on. That was a big fight. I thought we were gonna die there. I, honest, I was 100% convinced we were going to die. That is the other really effective combo. You can see what that guy was doing. Where you don't have the pump action and then a tactical shotgun. You rock the pump action and then an SMG to back it up. Both of them are kind of the same. They, they follow the idea that you're trying to get your first really, really big hit with a tactical. Maybe you get a one shot a lot of the time, which is just what makes the pump action so, so good. But then you've got the, uh, the old secondary, which you use to kind of get whatever extra damage you need. And the SMG works well. I personally, though, if you're in those really, really close range fights, I don't know. I'm just more of a fan of having a nice tactical with me. Oh, got to get enemy behind us, though. It's that same rule again. There's always one guy left. Oh, no, he got above me. Oh, he got above me. Oh, he got above us. Oh, he's right there. Please. And there we go. Okay, another one bites the dust. And I am once again really fucking injured. Can everyone just chill out for a minute, please? We got our two mini shields right there, which is going to be absolutely crucial. And you can see the reason we won that fight was honestly this combo. It was just that ability to get off more damage in a close range fight faster than the other person could, which is just like every single close range battle you have in this game. It just tends to be the way that I always die. So taking them seriously and going as try hard as I can is just so, so important. All right, now I'm going to assume that that was everyone in Retail Road, judging by the fact that right now we got seven kills, which, you know, pretty big start to the game. And, I mean, 30 people left alive, so there's still a lot more killing to go. We've got a new kill quota, by the way, guys. You all know that I used to aim for 10 kills at least every single game, which was okay. You know, it's a nice little goal. It's nothing that nutty, but it's also a decent amount of action. But... The standards have risen for Fortnite. I think we all know that what used to be an acceptable game just no longer really makes the cut. Now we got to aim for at least 15 kills every single round. And that means running permanently. It means playing ag aggressively from the start of the game all the way to the finish. And where the hell was that sniper? Come on, show yourself. Show yourself. Where is he? Was he behind that hill? Holy shit! Right there, that's where he is. Oh, tree branch in the way. Maybe I should just shoot him. I can't even crawl over there. Get this tree out of the way. Oh. And he's dead as well. All right. We've got more mini shields to go with us. I totally thought he was still up in that tree. That's why we were building over there. But... Luckily, we didn't lose too much of our actual health. Only four. We got all his ammo, all his shields. And honestly, after that fight, really, not too much loss, not too much gained as far as loot goes. And we can keep on continuing with our little murder spree. We got the bolt action sniper in case we spot anyone at long ranges. But other than that, we're really going to be focusing on killing as many people with this double shotgun combo as we can. All right. Fortunately, right there, it would appear we've got a guy who really wants to build towards me right now. And we are going to be taking him out next. No sniping, please. No sniping, please. No sniping, please. Let's take that out. And that. And then... Oh, my God. You know what? Fuck you, bro. I'm lit. We're just going to come in. No, don't kill him. Don't kill him. He's not dead yet. But he will be. And there we go. All right. What you got? Someone took a shot at this guy with a sniper. Problem is, we don't know where. I think it was from this direction. I'm guessing from that fort. That would kind of be the uh, the obvious thing. And let's see, if we come out, is anyone going to shoot at me? Not yet, apparently. But I'm expecting a bullet to come either through my skull or very, very close to us any second now. We can start going across. Can't see anyone in this base, though. Which honestly kind of confuses me. Was he up on that hill? He must be up on that hill. That's the only other spot he could be. The only other spot that makes sense. And you know what? Either way, I can actually hear fighting in this direction. So we're going to go this way anyway. Regardless of whether or not this is the dude with the sniper, I feel like this is the obvious place for us to go. All the way up. All the way to the top. And what do you know? There was no one up there. And seriously, I can't see anyone behind either. Oh, okay. We got an enemy over here though. It sounds like he's on the low ground by the broken house, but... Where? Right there. 
And there we go. Okay. Scandal and down. A launch pad in the bank, boys. We're going to grab that ASAP. We got a scar to go with it as well. And a golden Desert Eagle. Now, the only question is, who was he shooting at? Because I would love to find that out. And oh my god, what do you know? A golden scar as well. Let's grab that. A shield potion to go with it. Man, there's some really good loot around here. And we are just going to get fixed up. Although there's an enemy here now. So instead, let's build up. Where is he? And there he is. All right, what do you got for me, son? Another shield potion. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We got a better sniper to go with it. And we are going to be reclaiming this high ground after I grab that assault rifle ammo. Okay. Let me get back in my base now, please. I'd like to heal up fully. Okay. It looks like the zone is coming in, and it is coming in pretty damn quick. We got to move. Now, how many minis are in this pile? Where's the mini pile? Oh, God, no. Where's it gone? Is it just one? Is it just one? Yeah, it was just one. All right. We're sticking with the big shield. We got to go, people. Oh, my God. This zone is right on our tail. Holy shit. We can't slow down for one second. We just got to go, go, go. We got 11 kills already right now. Pretty epic game so far. And we are definitely, hopefully, going to be hitting our kill quota. Okay, still a one tick damage zone, though. So we're doing fine. We've got a bolt action, the golden scar, all the guns we need to play like an aggressive lunatic and probably throw the game, knowing me. Okay, now I'm assuming we're going to have an enemy at the factory. It looks like the zone. We're going full circle here. We landed at Retail Row, and it feels like right now the game is probably going to end at Retail Row. Which, you know, I mean, is a pretty nice spot. Not so much when, uh, when you're trying to snipe people, but I guess we want to be doing more shotgunning than anything right now. So at the end of the day, that's actually not a bad way for this to work out. Okay, now no one's over there. I'm a little bit worried about being in an open field because, I mean, it's an open field and that's always kind of scary. But I reckon if we keep going in this direction, we should be able to spot an enemy. There should be someone who kind of got pushed in from this side of the zone. Or at the very least, there should be a whole bunch of people down in the crates. I just don't want everyone to die without me. I need to be getting these kills. I need to be getting the action. I need to be showing this thing off. And what do you know? Got a guy right there. And there we go. I don't know how I didn't spot him. Was he hiding in that bush? I honestly think he might have been hiding in that bush. Oh, dude, you poor, poor thing. All right, anything good? Another launch pad. That's what I like to see. And four mini shields. You know what? I think we might actually grab that. The minis are mine. The sniper is mine. And a whole bunch of dead enemies are about to be mine. You know what? I actually reckon we're going to drop our sniper. If we want to be playing aggro, if we want to be getting into these close range battles, then we don't want a sniper. We don't want the gun of pansies who sit back in their bases and shoot from a range. We want to have the gun of men, of champions, the people who run in, get a little bit messy right up in people's faces and a lot of the time probably lose the shotgun battles and die. I can't see anyone over here. But there should be at least one guy in the crates. And definitely one person over the back of this hill. Just wait. Oh, right there. Right there. And there you go. What the hell? His loot, like, it spawned all the way up in the air. What is going on right now? You know what? Screw it. We're going to go. We're going to grab that shield. And then we are moving out of here, boys. Okay, there we go. More ammo. You know what? If we find a rocket launcher... I don't know if I'm going to be able to resist the urge to use it. But for right now, let's start making our way into the zone. Nine enemies left alive. This honestly right now could end up being a pretty high kill count game. Considering we're playing in solos right now, this could be uh, maybe not a record, but not too far off my record for, uh, for solo kill game. I don't know what that is. It's like 20... I got a 27 kill game once when we did squads. But I don't know what my, uh, my solo record is right now it's probably wouldn't be too far off that where are the people at why can't why, why is there no gunfire why don't i hear people shooting everyone seems like they're playing very conservatively right now the good news is though oh there was a drop over there we didn't get a chance to pick it up we've got two launch pads and a whole bunch of traps we're definitely gonna have to go for our little trap tower as a final kill but I'm wondering whether or not there's going to be an enemy coming out of these crates in a couple of seconds that's the only reason I'm kind of patrolling this edge here I feel like it makes sense that there'd be someone in there. And if there is, I want to take him out. There's probably also going to be someone... Oh, right there. Right there. And what do you know? There they are. All right, we're going to grab those mini shields and then we'll move out. I knew there was going to be someone hiding inside there. 
It just made way too much sense. Now it looks like... Okay, that zone is completely enveloped. Everyone in the crates. We're going to come down here, clear out the forest. I feel like we've already checked over this edge of the zone. And there are only three enemies left alive. What the hell? We went from like nine to three in the space of like four seconds. All right, let's keep going though. We still got our shotguns. I'm still feeling very, very confident about any close range fights we get into. We're just going to have to try and find the final couple of people alive and figure out which one of them is most likely to fall for a meme strategy. Because <laughs> that's the one that we want to protect. A lot of the time I actually see like a beginner player and then I leave them alive because I want to try and actually protect them and make sure they're the last person left standing. It lets you go for a much more creative final kill. Okay, we got a drop coming down there. Not too shabby. And I'm hoping that we're going to spot at least one of these last two in the next few seconds. I don't like not knowing where the enemy are. We're literally like running around on top of a mountain right now, effectively begging to get shot. But I'm guessing the other two are probably going to be hiding in retail row. It kind of makes sense. People who just want to sit inside buildings and not fight. You just want to sit in there and wait for the other people to fight it out before them. We're going to start shooting that drop down. Although honestly, by the time I actually get it, it's probably going to have hit the ground. Screw it though. Come on, 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 and come down. What do we got? Oh my god, I literally saw that sniper as he took the shot. Hot damn. We're going to start building towards him, although, oh my god, no. I accidentally just dropped my gun. Oh, dude. Okay, give me the chug. Let's start pushing forward. What the f- I didn't mean to pick that up again. Why do I suck? Why am I an idiot? Let's grab that, and then let's start moving up. You can see that guy up there. He's all the way in that base. And we need to start playing aggressively. The good news is, he has to move. I, on the other hand, don't have to move. So we can kind of sit right here and wait for him. Are you going to leave yet, bruh? I still want to get shot from that angle or behind. He's right there. Right there. Oh, he's behind that thing. Come on, you got to move in a second, bro. You gotta move in a second. There he is. Come on. Oh, we've hit him pretty hard. He's gonna have to come out here. Get ready. Whoa. That lag. That lag was terrifying. Around the back of this wall. That's where he's gonna be. And he's dead. All right, let's get healed up. My God. No, don't kill me yet. I don't want to fight yet. Where was this guy when we were fighting the other people? He's just one of those players, I think, who just sits back, literally hides, minimizes the risk of the entire game, and then pops out with a rocket launcher at the end. Right when I finally think I'm going to be able to get a meme kill. There's one of these rocket launcher tryhards, but hopefully he's not going to push me for a couple of seconds here. We need to get the chug jug off. Oh my god, he's right there. He's No, we gotta build. We gotta build. We gotta build. We gotta build. Oh, Jesus. Put that down there. All the way around, we gotta go higher. We're gonna have to keep building up. All the way up, all the way to the top. We need to build to the point where we can finally actually heal ourselves. He's there again. He's there again. Oh my god, we just blocked it. We just blocked it. We gotta build this all the way around. All the way around. Stay the hell out of my base. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Please don't come up here. Please just don't come up here. Let's build ourselves a little cocoon and then we can heal. Oh, thank God we can finally heal. I just had to keep building up until he finally just left me alone. He just got hit by the trap. He just got hit by the trap that that guy put down before. All right, we're moving. We're moving. We're going to build down. And we're going to go all the way here. I don't know where this guy is. I've got absolutely no clue. Fuck it, we're getting out of here. I don't want to fight this anymore. We're just going to reposition on the hill. And hopefully, he's going to have to run into us. Come on. Oh, he's on the roof. He's on the roof. There we go, boys. A victory royale. The launch pad escape at the final second. And my new favorite thing to do at the end of a game is just get stuck in that endless loop of launch padding. 
Oh, guys, finally, the 16 kill victory royale. This new shotgun combo is epic. Get in game, try it out for yourself. Tell me what you prefer. Do you prefer a shotgun SMG kind of swap around? Or are you like me? And more about that tactical with the pump action. Everyone's got their own style. Everyone's got their own flavor. But guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you legends in the next one. Bye bye.